Hey barbecue fans, welcome to a beautiful evening on the Frankenboo Ranch. All right, so this evening we're gonna go over a side dish that will go that will pair perfectly with any holiday meal. So this evening I'm gonna show you guys how to do individual scalloped potatoes. So what we've got here is I've got some potatoes that I used the uh, mandolin to slice up. We've got some Gruyere cheese. We've got some garlic and we've also got some cheddar cheese. We've got heavy cream and we've got salt and pepper. So what we're gonna do is we are going to build stacks in our preheated muffin pan. So like I've always said, when we're using our cast iron, we wanna preheat it because when you preheat it, it keeps everything from sticking. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start layering the potatoes. We're gonna put a potato in, we're gonna put some Gruyere, we're gonna put some cheddar, we're gonna put some garlic, and then we're gonna stack these. Once we've got them all nice and stacked, we're gonna cover them with some heavy cream and we're gonna pop them back in the smoker that we've got set up for 375 degrees. And we are going to cook these things for about 30 to 45 minutes. And once they're done, you're gonna have beautiful little individual uh, scalloped potatoes that's gonna look really great with any holiday meal. So let's go ahead and pull in here and get at it. All right, guys, so I went ahead and started a little bit beforehand so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me building these things forever. But basically what we're doing is we're taking potatoes that we've sliced on our mandolin, we're layering potatoes with cheese, more cheese, salt and pepper, and garlic. Now, this isn't just something that you want to do for holiday meals. This is great during the summer. I do this all the time during the summer because that way I don't have to turn my oven on in the house. I can do this outside and I don't have to worry about heating the house up and costing more on the electric bill and so on and so forth. And you guys will see that this is actually a really neat, really good little meal you can, or a little side dish for a meal. I just, it just so happens to be holidays. So that's why we're talking holidays here. All right, but this is going to be amazing. Really great side dish. You guys see what I'm talking about here when we're done. So like I said, I'm just layering a little bit of cheese, potatoes, garlic, cheese, potatoes, garlic, cheese, potatoes, garlic. And then once we're all said and done, we're going to top it with some cream. And the cream is going to help it thicken up all real nice here. And it's going to be a really delicious little side dish. All right, so let's put some more cheese on top of these. Because this is going to cook down. You're going to have these really nice little potato stacks is what's going to happen. And that is all of our Gruyere. And this, is, this cheese is really good for this sort of thing because it's very melty and rich and creamy when it's, when it's cooked up. Let me get that out of the way so you guys can see what we're doing here. Here. More, let's put some more on these. Let's do a couple more stacks on top of these here. We'll just top these off with some cheddar since we've got plenty of that. And like I said, make sure, make sure you guys preheat your pan. Preheating the pan is the best thing you can do with when you're cooking with cast iron because it really makes it, turns it into a non-stick pan. You know, I would prefer to cook in, cook in cast iron versus any other pan on the market because it's just a fantastic pan. And I love the way it cooks. I love the way it cleans. All right, there we go. Now, let's top these off with some heavy cream. It's starting to run out. There we go. Like I said, this is super simple. You're looking at 30 to 45 minutes all in for your cook times. I'm using a cherry wood again because I enjoy it. 
and I think it works really well when I'm cooking the scallop potatoes, okay? Um, with the scallop potato, you could probably get away with hickory. You could get away with uh, anything like that. I'm, I'm not a big fan of mesquite. Mesquite is an accent wood like, um, like a lot of your heavy spices are accents, okay? So I'm not a big fan of mesquite. Very little goes a long way. All right, so here we have it. I'm gonna put a little bit more cheese onto this guy here because he's got some holes on the side. Maybe a little bit more cream as well. You guys, just play with this recipe, okay? You can't mess it up, it's really easy. All right, so our smoker, like I said, our smoker is already preheated to 375 degrees. Make sure this pan's not too hot, I can handle it. Yep, and we're gonna pop this in here. All right, 375, about 30 to 45 minutes, we'll be ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up and we'll revisit this in about 30 to 45 minutes. Hey, barbecue fans. All right, so here we are at the end of our cook with our scallop potatoes. So let's go ahead and have a look at these things and see what they look like. All right, you can see we've got some really nice crispy burnt cheese up on these things. So let's pop them out here. Look at that. These are tasty. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. It's a really quick and easy, simple thing to do. You can see the cheese bubbling, nice crispy burnt cheese on top. Let's go ahead and pop one of them out here. And this is a nice compliment to any meal. You know, it doesn't have to be at the holidays. It can be anywhere. And you've got a great little scallop potato stack. We've got some burnt cheese we can put on top the side because everybody loves burnt cheese. Get the last little potato out of here. It's really hot. Be careful, don't burn your fingers. Well, there you go, guys. Really simple. Great addition to any meal. I, like I said, I like to do these all the time during the summer because it's a great, like I said, it's a great addition to any meal and I can cook them outside. I don't have to have the kitchen all heating up and getting hot and everything and running out my AC bill. So there you have it. Scallop potatoes, or I should say individual scallop potatoes. And uh, it's going to accent your meal like you never thought it would. So there you go, guys. Until next time, keep on smoking it.